What's up guys, here today to talk to you about my current uh, nutrition and basically my macros I'm doing right now. Uh, up until about a couple weeks ago, I didn't really track macros. I've tracked my uh, overall calories for maybe a year or so now and just sort of had a rough number of calories I wanted to hit every day, which was about 2,800, 2,900, 3,000. But now I started actually counting macros, which is helps you dial it in more helps you basically tweak your body composition and stuff by knowing the exact carbs, the exact fats, the exact proteins that you're getting every day. So uh, right now I'm getting, I'm pretty pretty loose with it. I'm not too strict right now with it. Uh, I'm getting 70 to 75 fats every day, uh, 310 to 320 carbs every day, and like 205 to 215 protein every day. And basically, I like to eat pretty clean throughout the day and then sometimes at night if I have a lot of carbs and fats left over I'll have a treat like maybe a little bit of ice cream a serving or two or you know some frozen yogurt or something like that and it's really not a big deal because I'm staying within these set macros that I'm doing and so if I stay within these barriers of the set macros my body composition is not going to change I'm not going to gain weight that I'm not expecting to gain and uh, I've been tracking these macros now for maybe like I said, a week and a half, two weeks, and uh, my weight's pretty much stayed the same, eating about 2,800 or so roughly calories a day, I think it adds up to, um, and I've stayed like 158, you know, a little bit up and down, in, but 158, and I slowly want to start gaining weight, I think, I think I want to go on a tiny little baby bulk while staying relatively lean, you know, and so I need to start upping these calories a little bit, and how you do that? Where you bump these macros up. So I'm tracking my weight and I can slowly, you know, add a little bit more carbs and then I'll add a little bit more fats and stuff like that until I start slowly gaining weight. And since I'm tracking it, you're not going to get fat without knowing it, you know. You can gain the exact amount of weight you want as slow as you want. If you gain it too fast, you can cut the macros back a little bit. If not, you can keep doing what you're doing. Or, you know, if for some reason you're losing weight, you can bump up these macros. So tracking macros is really helpful because you can know exactly what you're putting in your body you know exactly how to tweak it on your body composition and you can gain weight and lose weight at the rate you want pretty much and so it's pretty helpful than just overall just the overall calories it's, I think tracking macros is better than just tracking calories in general because I want to have enough protein to when I work out and tear down the muscle to be able to rebuild it I need enough protein I need enough fats to uh, deal with hormones, they deal with all kinds of stuff. Fats are important. You have to have your fats. I wouldn't go below 40 grams a day of fat. Even if you're on a diet, I would not go below 40 because you don't want to start messing with your natural hormone production. And fats are necessary for, as men, uh, testosterone. We need it uh, to make testosterone. Yeah. And I need carbs basically for energy. Carbs are an energy source. And so, filling the rest with carbs. There's no need to go ketogenic really I don't think in my opinion uh, I would only do that as a last resort like if you were really overweight and had to lose weight really fast I would only cut out a, you know an entire macronutrient carbs I would only do that in severe situations otherwise you can just tw tweak these three macros like you want and your weight can go up or down and so it's pretty helpful um, also tracking macros I mean I'm fairly lean right now guys no homo I mean I mean I'm can't even see this light really but I mean I'm fairly lean and so I want to keep relatively lean while I'm slowly gaining weight and getting stronger uh, currently my bench is still 275 touch and go like 265 pauls I uh, recently pulled 425 on deadlift and I hadn't maxed on squat but the last time I maxed I got 335 and like I said I'm 5'10 158 so I mean I'm, I feel like I'm decently strong right now but I want to keep keep basically pushing my food as much as I can until I start gaining weight and that way I know my absolute calorie maintenance before my body starts gaining weight because you have a little bit of range that you can fluctuate in the amount you can eat until you actually start gaining weight you know and like I said so far I've been eating the exact same every day and it feels to me like I've been eating more than I have in the past but my weight's staying the same so that's good I'm not gaining weight yeah so I can keep bumping it until I do this is basically like a we're almost five minutes. I'm just ranting, talking about macros and stuff. Um, I just wanted to come talk about my nutrition and kind of make a vlog on it. So I can also look back on it and remember what I was doing at this point in time. 
but also, I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are curious out there, everyone on the YouTube fitness community is asking about macros and how to track them, blah, 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 this. I use uh, my fitness pal. have a Samsung S3 phone, and you can just download it, you know, on basically any smartphone for free, and you can even scan your foods on it, and it puts it in there, and then you can, it has your daily total and all this, and it's pretty helpful. Like, today I've had, uh, I'll go ahead and read it all for you, I don't care, it's not a big deal. Um... Let me find it first. Yeah. So today I've had 13 grams of fat, uh, 135 carbs, and only 53 protein. But I basically only had breakfast and lunch. I hadn't had my protein shakes or anything like that yet, so that's going to shoot my protein way up. And so then probably at the end of the day, even after supper, I'm probably going to have a little bit of carbs and fats to play with, so I might have a serving of ice cream tonight. It's okay if you're in with, within your macronutrients. Obviously, would you want to get all your carbs and fats for the day from ice cream? No, because that's not micronutrient dense. You're not going to get enough vitamin or minerals. That's important. But, you know, 10% or less of your calories from fun junk foods, if you can fit it into your macronutrients, it's not a big deal, guys. Unless you're on, like, some extreme contest prep that you really don't want to risk it. And some people even do it then. But for me, just maintaining, trying to stay relatively lean, you're going to be fine. So yeah, this is like a six and a half minute rant. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this off cause I gotta go to the gym, it's chest day. So yeah, till next time.